Ooh, let's do it. What is anxiety? Probably one of my favorite questions because people often misunderstand it. So simply put, uh, anxiety is uh, a feeling, often a fear or dread or uneasiness that you experience within you in response to a stressor, right? Or maybe a threat, right? So <clears throat> what a lot of people don't understand is that anxiety is not only normal and natural, but it's actually needed in life. Anxiety is something that our brain and body uses to keep us alive, right? If you're out hiking in the woods and a bear starts to approach you and you're just chilling, that's a problem, right? You need anxiety. Think of it this way. Uh, if your natural state's kind of neutral and then all of a sudden something happens and there's a threat, right? Your brain is going to shift you into first gear, right? It's going to level you up, put you into an alert state, right? To let you know like, hey, something's, something's off here. And that's why often we experience symptoms of like our heart pounding, our hands shaking, right? Tension in our stomach. It's those chemicals being pumped out, cortisol, right? So that, you know, see a bear and run. Um, where it becomes a problem is when our brain perceives something to be a threat that isn't like a life and death threat. Um, let's say that as a child, you have a really traumatic experience with the emotion of shame or embarrassment. You don't know how to cope with it as a kid and it's a, a life altering experience, right? Your brain might conclude, okay, shame equals bear. Now you're an adult functioning in the world and every time you have to speak in front of people or maybe take a test or do something where you could have the potential to experience shame, your body's gonna react like you're seeing a bear. Right. And that's where it becomes problematic. People will, you know, try to numb it or ignore it or stuff it um, or suffer through it. But when you understand what's happening, what it is, that your brain is not your enemy, it just is a bit confused, right? You can then begin to work through those issues, through those stressors that your brain has decided are a threat and heal them. And then your anxiety comes down. So that's what it is.